Hey everyone, welcome. It's May 30th. It's Memorial Day. I want to introduce you to Crypto Intel, the playlist from the Other People's Money show, the OPM show. This uh, playlist is going to be dedicated to cryptocurrency, blockchain. Um, we're going to be talking about the successes, what's on the horizon, what's new, about legislation, um, things like that, uh, regulation, as well as the exit scams and the rug pulls. Um, currently monitoring one situation potentially with Mirror Protocol. Uh, just been made aware of that in the last 30 minutes. But also, uh, we're obviously all concerned about Wonderland Time as well as Luna. Luna is going nuts right now. I, uh, I firmly believe it is going to be an exit scam. Uh, the South Korean authorities have requested a meeting with Doquan and all of his employees, programmers, and people. Um, there's some major problems with it. And he's launching Luna 2 right in the middle of all these problems. Like, what are you going to do, old coins versus new coins? Um, they're doing a burn on the old coins. They're doing an airdrop. There's a lot of technology we'll discuss. Um, I'm going to bring a lot of subject matter experts in to talk about the programming, the blockchain, airdrops. You're going to get all that stuff. Um, but just to say that I, right now, I think there's a considerable amount of risk to doing anything with Terra or Luna. It's looking like a, like a major exit scam. Like this guy's potential of destroying, I've, I've read as much as $60 billion, which is on the Bernie Madoff uh, level. You know, Bernie didn't lose $60 billion, more like $20 billion of actual cash, but about 35 to $40 billion of, the, of the rest of it was the fake returns. But altogether, they you know they said sixty billion. This could be sixty billion dollar exit scam and rug pull. I believe it's looking that way. So I would advise people do not put your money into Luna or to, you know anything that's associated with Luna or Dokkan. Uh, get your money out if you can. Uh, you can go to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogcoin. I believe they're still safe. I do have a little bit of Bitcoin. I'm not one hundred percent sold on cryptocurrency at this time. I think there's too many issues with it, too many scams. Uh, it seems like every day there's like scams all over the place. So Crypto Intel is a playlist on the YouTube channel. It also is a Facebook group under facebook.com slash group slash Crypto Intel. You'll see it off the OPM show, which is the page. And you'll also see it on Reddit. My Reddit group uh, subreddit is Crypto Intel. So I'm going to bring a lot of intelligence and education and what they call uh, edutainment. It's hard to say edutainment. So a mixture of entertainment and education on the cryptocurrency world, blockchain, things like that, digital currency. I mean, it's legitimate to tr that it's going on and there's a lot of issues with it. Right now, I do not recommend anyone do anything with Luna, Terra, Doquan, as well as Wonderland Time. Now, let me explain Wonderland Time. So a lot of you guys know who Joe Cotton is. Right now, he's the subject of a Netflix uh, documentary called Trust No One, The Hunt for the Crypto King. Joe Cotton was three years out of college. He graduated college in 2010 in Canada. He Through 2013, he shows up with this huge an ICO, initial coin offering, and he is launches his Quadriga CX, which is, becomes a huge player in the cryptocurrency world, especially in Canada. And his partner turns out to be Michael Perrin, who was Omer Perrin, who before that was Dihani. Um, I will actually get his correct first original name. He was has Dihani. He laundered money for Shadow Crew, which was the predecessor for a lot of the dark web, Silk Road, things like that came out of uh, you know, the dark web, credit card theft, identity theft, all kinds of, you know, there's all, there's stimulus uh, fraud, synthetic fraud, synthetic identities, just a lot of stuff. You know, uh, Brett Johnson was the founder and the godfather of, you know, of Shadow Crew. And it was, Shadow Crew was a unique idea. It made, it was like making scammers be legit with other scammers. So criminals, you know, there was like some transparency. There was, um, you know, a scammer could actually have some trust. They had escrow, a bunch of stuff. I'm going to try to get Brett Johnson on. He has a great YouTube program. You guys also know that I'm very that I'm very big into uh, Matthew B. Cox 
as well as a few other people that are associated with, you know, the concrete uh, podcast, K O N C R E T E with Danny Jones. Um, there's a whole bunch of people that are associated with that podcast and Brett Johnson, Matt, Buc- Matt Cox and all them. But honestly, so going back to Joe Cotton, Michael Perrin, basically what happened is Michael, uh, Joe Cotton and his wife flew over to India and then he died of Crohn's disease. Well, who dies of Crohn's disease? It's especially if you have that kind of money and resources, even in India. When well, in India, you can pay for a body, you can get a fake death certificate. But even the fake death certificate had his name spelled right, wrong. It was C O T T A N, like Katan, instead of Cotton, with C O T T E N. So he disappears. His password, his keys, and all that stuff to recover to access his wallet is missing. That's the entire quadriga uh, basically disappears. And he was actually because of the time banks were taking in the money, the fiat money, the real you know what we would call real money, you know fiat money. Where did it go? Well, it went into eight or nine different bank accounts of shell companies uh, that were associated with Joe Cotton. And then all of a sudden, Michael Perrin is alive. He should have gone, uh, should have been prosecuted by Canada, by international authorities. He wasn't. Well, all of a sudden, now he turns up. He's part of Wonderland Time. And Daniel, who's the, uh, got to get his last name right. I think um, he's the, the founder. Well, Michael Perrin's the CFO, the chief financial officer. This is not somebody who should be a CFO of anything. The guy has committed, went to prison for 18 months for laundering money for Shadow Crew and then ran about a two or $300 million Ponzi scheme. Yes, that was Rodrigo termed what would be a Ponzi scheme. There's some indications that Gerald Cotton actually was doing scams all the way back into his teens. And, you know, how he graduates college in 2010 and 2013 shows up with this huge cryptocurrency that everyone's getting into. It could have been a, it was a, it could have been a billion dollar exit scam uh, rug pull. So right now we're looking at Luna, we're looking at Wonderland Time, Mirror Protocol has some issues right now. Right now, I would not recommend anybody getting into crypto uh, unless you absolutely know, I don't, Bitcoin, we talk about Satoshi, there's a lot of promotion. You know, some of the crypto people get really upset if you start challenging them and asking them, well, how do you, how do you protect people? I don't think people are protected right now. I don't think, I don't think it's a wise investment. I think the governments need to start looking at it. Like I know people are against central bank, digital currency, digital currency, anything with the banks involved or the governments, but I think it's going to go that way probably because so many people are actually getting, um, are getting scammed and it's, so many people don't understand it. It's almost like a casino. Like you'd be better off walking into a casino right now, a casino run by the mob and throw down a couple grand and basically lose it. You know, the mob's going to screw. Uh, sorry to all my mob friends. I don't actually have any, but you know, those guys out there, the good fellows and stuff. Uh, rest in peace for Iliota. Also, um, you know, you have a better chance of going to a carnival and getting some crooked guy, you know, I guess you're way today. I weigh 150 pounds. <laughs> wrong um things like that you want to basically um uh, you know buy lottery tickets you know and buy the fake lottery tickets and you probably have as good a chance as making making your fortune and being rich from cryptocurrency they're all like oh if you're not buying in you're going to be poor you're stuck poor. what do you actually own literally can you guys at least not get angry and say what do i own I, you don't own anything really you go put a couple grand in there or put a grand or a hundred bucks or 10 grand or a hundred thousand. I mean, what happens when it gets rug pulled and exit scam and you just lost that money? All of a sudden people are like, oh, my my coin went from, you know, whatever the, the, the calculations are on the conversions. Oh, it's worth 50 grand a coin or something like that. Well, is it really? I mean, so there's a lot of questions I have and they're legitimate questions. If, you know, I, I'd like to see more people, you know, involved picking up a lot more stuff with crypto. But Crypto Intel is going to be a great resource. It's going to be associated with the OPM show, other people's money show. You know, obviously Facebook, Reddit, Twitter. Twitter's uh, at Nate underscore capital. Um, you know, Reddit, obviously, the you know, we got Crypto Intel. we got the other people's money show, the OPM show. Same on Facebook. So like I said, just like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. Join us on Facebook. Join us on Reddit. I'm going to put a real world perspective on this and explain to you guys, bring your resources, bring in the latest news. Hopefully we can find 
you know, currencies that work. But right now it seems like everything is a scam or skeptical. There's a lot of information people don't understand. So like I said, I appreciate your time. It's May, Monday, May 30th. And please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.